Iran's advances in aircraft engine highlighted by top general. Iranian scientists have made significant progress in designing and manufacturing engines used in various aircraft and missiles, according to Major General Mohammad Hossein Bagheri, Chief of Staff of the Iranian Armed Forces. During a visit to a factory producing homegrown OJ turbojet engines, General Bagheri said Iran is now among a select group of countries in the world with the knowledge to manufacture engines for aerial vehicles that are at the cutting edge of technology. OJ turbojet engine. This engine is intended to power all of Iran's indigenous jet aircraft, including the Kosar fighter lead-in trainer, a copy of the F-5F, and the Yasin trainer. It is a reverse-engineered version of General Electric's venerable J-85 design, originally based on 1950s technology. Iran began developing its version in the mid-1990s through turbine engine manufacturing industries, TEM, in West Tehran. Millions of J-85s are currently in service around the world, Iran received hundreds of them before the 1979 revolution. Jahish 700 light turbofan engine, this engine is a bigger deal than the OJ, given its higher technology and potential particularly, in terms of powering high-altitude long-endurance drones. It looks very similar to the Williams International FJ-33 FJ-44 family of engines of the same size and thrust category, so it is most likely a direct copy of those American designs. According to General Hatami, it is of the same type that powered the American RQ-170 drone captured by Iran in 2011, but is entirely designed in Iran. He probably meant to imply that the RQ-170 Sentinel is powered by an FJ-33, and that Iran managed to reverse-engineer it, even though the Sentinel is generally believed to have a different type of engine. The Jahish 700 is said to incorporate single crystal turbine blades made of special super alloys that can withstand high temperatures and achieve a longer service life. If true, the ability to manufacture single crystal metal engine components would be a new milestone for Iran and a potentially important step on the long path to self-sufficiency in manufacturing larger high-performance jet engines for aviation and the oil-gas power generation sectors. To be sure, developing larger turbofan engines that can remain efficient while sustaining much higher operating temperatures is a tall order it would require Iran to master many other advanced technologies via highly complex and costly processes. If Tehran succeeds on that front, however, it could someday power its own advanced fighter aircraft designs with indigenous engines. Iran has fully matured in designing and manufacturing advanced aerial engines due to the efforts of its experts and scientists, he added, noting that thousands of aircraft, drones, and missiles in Iran have been equipped with homegrown engines. The senior commander also highlighted that all advancements in the defense industry have taken place in the face of harsh foreign sanctions.
Iranian officials have frequently stated that the country will not hesitate to develop its military capabilities, particularly its missile industry, which is solely for defensive purposes, and that Iran's defense capabilities will never be negotiated.